This is a Shindawa trimmer. Uh, I believe it's called an S25. Circa 1985 or so. So it's about 25 years old. I do believe it's a 25 cc um, trimmer. It's, uh, I say 1985 just because I know it's at least five years older than the Echo stuff I was using in 1990. So, I mean, it could be a 1980, 30 years old. If somebody knows, let me know and I'll annotate it. Uh, usually I use this to do my yard when I don't have a lawnmower. I've got some .125, I, I believe, which is eighth inch line. I use two and uh, I just stick them in there and fold, fold it over. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. There it is. Um, I'm going to show you how it works now. Well, I'm going to do the whole side of the yard that's really overgrown. And we'll see what it's down to when I'm done. I'm just doing this to show you that uh, a lot of people think that they need that bump feed head. But uh, if you're using thick line, it, 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 it takes forever to take an inch off of it. The camera's mounted on the top of the mailbox with a bungee cord. And I'm going to start trimming the grass now. I think I'm going to want to speed it up so, uh, so it's uh, not a long video. It takes a few minutes to do this. <laughs> it out stop it it's not the best job in the world but if you don't have a lawnmower working at the time this grass was uh, the kind of stuff that were really bogged down a lawnmower <clears throat> those spring up in about five days uh, when you have good rain so it's not like I let the whole thing go I let this go for the video and that's the part that is actually a week long and I need to work out. So, I'm going to get to finishing this stuff and put this away. Oh, I'm going to go measure the trimmer string first. Just got done mowing the, the good part of the side yard with the longest stuff. And it's uh, just a hair under the 7 inch mark. <laughs> 